Hi everyone, welcome to another Friday and another video from Sardines Magazine. Obviously there's not a lot to talk about at the moment, especially in a positive light, theatrical wise, um, because everything seems to be going crazy at the moment. This second wave is, is really taking hold of the world, the UK, Europe, so theatrically things are not getting better at the moment, things are going to get it looks like things are getting a lot worse before they get better. So we've got nothing to really share at the moment with you, except for the results of last week's survey, which is very interesting. We posed a survey of 10 questions, and the reward was um, a six-month digital subscription to sardines, which was fantastic. It, those of you that didn't manage to do the survey, but still quite fancying sardines in this second period of almost locked down and it may be coming who knows um, can just go to this the website www.sardinesmagazine.co.uk subscribe on there it's only seven pound fifty for six months digital access it's only 12 quid for a year's digital access which is a pound a month it's even cheaper and that way you get access to every single issue we've ever produced you can download every pdf of every printed issue we posed a 10 question survey for you and it's really interesting getting the results. So it's been a little while since we've um, garnered your opinions and because the second wave is now hitting home, we thought it would be a good idea to have a fresh look at what you all thought about everything. So looking at the survey, um, we found out that it was 90% um, are actually from amateur companies, 10% are not, which is very interesting. And um, I think we answered, we asked the right questions because a lot of answers were very evenly split. Has your society been theatrically active since March, either online or organising socially distanced performances? Very, very even split. 24% of you think that um, your society hasn't been in touch, but some members have been... Um, taking it upon themselves to stay in touch via Zoom, Skype, all those kinds of platforms. Um, is your society planning to perform before social distance is eradicated? Unfortunately, um, we found out that almost half are saying no, it's simply not financially viable, which is a bit of a shame. Even though almost a third of you are thinking of doing something before um, social distancing is totally eradicated. But uh, we, do, we really do understand the financial implications of it. If you're only playing to what 20 to 25 percent of your capacity audience, a lot of you are thinking, "Well, there's not much point in carrying on. We've still got to pay for rights, haven't we?" Another question: When will we get back to normal? Very interesting this one, because again, almost half of you think that it's going to be later next year. Now. When we asked this before, it was going to be early next year. Now, with the way the second wave is hitting home, almost half of you are saying it's going to be later on next year. Do you find the latest government restrictions and guidelines easy to understand? What an interesting question that was. Believe it or not, the majority of you thought, that's nearly a third of you thought, no, they're not easy to understand, and they're getting more difficult to understand by the day. And that's completely... Um, within within our thinking as well it is again a bit crazy isn't it you've got england scotland wales northern ireland all devolved all setting their own rules and england has even devolved its and scotland now has devolved itself more and more complicated because they split themselves into different areas and different tiers scotland's got five tiers england's got three tiers it's it's just getting a bit crazy but um, the thinking is we might all be in the highest tier before that long. So while 28% of people think that yes we can just about understand it after we read the rules, the new rules very very carefully, um, more than that 30% um, of people almost are thinking um, no it's, it's a bit of a joke at the moment. Do you empathise with the professional sector at the moment? We were very pleased actually and very heartened to find out that 94% of respondents, 94% of you do 
um, empathise with the professional industry, saying it must be very stressful for a professional at the moment. So great, you know, and, and absolutely, of course it is. I mean, we amateurs, it's stressful for us at the moment, but at least we haven't got to rely on it for our careers. Well, we have a sardines, but we haven't if we're on stage performing. So that's great. Is the whole coronavirus situation a lot of fuss over nothing that has damaged theatre unnecessarily? Another 94% of people um, have answered no to that. We do not think it's a lot of fuss over nothing. See, 77% of people are saying we must look after our members and audiences, which is quite right. And looking at the age demographic of a lot of memberships, a lot of societies, a lot of people are in that high risk category, so so absolutely. Anyway, that's our survey. The last question is probably the most interesting of the lot because we left an open field for you to add any further comments that you might feel is justified at the moment. And we had some fantastic responses. And what we've done is we've posted a link below this video and on the newsletter this week, we've posted a link directly to the survey. So if you want to, you can read every single one of the responses that people have done. And they've been fantastic. People have written some amazing results. Something like, um, someone's written, most of our cast and crew are over 60. This also includes people with health conditions and so forth. Adding to this, most of our audience are 70 plus with the younger ones being family, friends, work colleagues of the cast and crew. So whichever way you look at it, many groups which fall into this category are struggling to keep going. We have quizzes via Zoom each week since July, but at um, beginning of lockdown, everything was cancelled. Obviously that means on stage wise. We have been keeping in touch via social media too, but this is not something that all our members use. The AGM was held via Zoom and was probably last time all, if not most, of the society were together on screen. We are now doing readings, etc., and have attempted a play reading on Zoom just within our society. Everyone is trying to keep positive. Some of us are still busy working, but for the retired members, Amdram is a lifeline and important to social activity. Very important to remember that. Zoom is fine, but sometimes it's not enough and we cannot form bubbles to meet up either nowadays. Sheffield, which is where this person is, um, I guess, commenting from, Sheffield is now in tier three, so everyone is remote and activities as normal may not resume for some time. Sadly, one of our members suddenly passed on this month. It's a huge shock, but... Um, how the group moves on now is very fragile and with care to the bereaving family. Amdram is family for many people, so we wait to see what happens. And that is just one of a myriad of comments um, that people have put on at the end. And we really would encourage you to click on the link under the survey, under this video, and have a read of those. Some people have written more, some people have written just one line um, answers. There's another one here. If cinemas can operate and flights can continue to all four corners of the earth, why can't theatres open? We were due to perform in March 2020, but lockdown shut us down, as it has with everyone, obviously. Um, again, that's just one comment of a myriad of comments, so we really would. Please, please, please have a read of them. See what you think, and if you think there's anything you want to add to those comments, send us an email. The survey is now closed, but you can email us with a similar type of thing at admin at sardinesmagazine.co.uk. But that's it for now. Stay safe stay well we will be back it's getting a bit hesitant now but i promise we will be back one day we really don't know when at the moment please subscribe to the digital issue of sardines we're going to bring another one out on the first of december so not long to go only a month to go for that now hopefully it won't be too long stay safe stay well we will be back not sure when but um we really hope you're okay out there let us know bye for now